have a parliamentary inquiry. Um, the gentleman is not recognized. I do want to comment, uh, and Mr. I allow... Mr. Chairman, I have a point of order under HRES 660. The gentleman will state her point of order. Uh, the point of order is, will the chairman continue to prohibit witnesses from answering Republican questions, as you've done in closed hearings and as you did this week when you interrupted proper, our questions? That is not a proper point of order. The gentleman will, sus will suspend. Mr. Mr. Speaker, chairman, I have a, I do, chairman, I have a... Uh, yeah. The gentleman is not recognized. Mr. Chairman, I have a point of order. The gentleman is not recognized. I have a point of order, though. The gentleman is not recognized. I do want to respond. I allowed the I ranking member to... have a point of order. I, the gentleman is not recognized. Mr. Allowed. Chairman, there are four gentlemen, transcripts that have not been released. The gentleman is not recognized. Holy the ranking cow. member was allowed to exceed the opening statement, and I was happy to allow him to do so. I do want to respond to the call record. First of all, I'm grateful that the President has released the call record. I would now ask the President to release the thousands of other records that he has instructed the State Department not to release including Ambassador Taylor's notes, including Ambassador Taylor's cable, including George Kent's memo, including documents from the Office of Management and Budget about why the military aid was withheld. Mr. Chairman, I want you to release the, the four transcripts not recognized. of depositions. Will That's my point of order. The gentleman will suspend. Chief. We would ask the President to stop obstructing the impeachment inquiry. And while we're grateful he has released a single document, he has nonetheless obstructed witnesses and their testimony and the production of thousands and thousands of other records. And finally, I would say this, Mr. President, I hope you'll explain to the country today why it was after this call and while the Vice President was making plans to attend the inauguration that you instructed the Vice President not to attend Zelensky's inauguration. Mr. Chairman, today, I have a point today, of order. Mr. Chairman, I have a point of order under is not recognized. So we know today, clearly you're going to interrupt us throughout this hearing. The gentlewoman is not recognized. Mr. Chairman, I have today, a unanimous consent request. Today, no. Mr. Chairman, I have unanimous consent request. The gentleman is not, requ not recognized. <clears throat> today, we are joined by Ambassador Marie Ivanovich. She was born in Canada to parents who fled the Soviet Union and the Nazis. Ambassador Ivanovich immigrated to Connecticut at three, became a naturalized American at 18, and entered the U.S. Foreign Service in 1986. She has served as U.S. Ambassador three times and been nominated by presidents of both parties. George W. Bush nominated her to be ambassador to the Kyrgyz Republic, where she served from 2005 to 2008. President Obama then nominated her to be U.S. ambassador to Armenia, where she served from 2008 until 2011. And U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, where she served from 2016 until she was recalled to Washington by President Trump this May. Beyond these ambassadorial posts, she has held numerous other senior positions at the State Department, including in the Bureau of European and Eurasian Affairs. She served as a dean at the Foreign Service Institute and taught national security strategy at the Defense University. She also previously served at U.S. embassies in Kiev, Ottawa, Moscow, London, and Mogadishu. Ambassador Yovanovitch has received multiple honors from the Department for her diplomatic work, including the Presidential Distinguished Service Award, and the Secretary's Diplomacy and Human Rights Award. Two final points before our witness is sworn. First, witness depositions as part of this inquiry were unclassified in nature and all open hearings will also be held at the unclassified level. Any information that may touch on classified information will be addressed separately. Second, Congress will not tolerate any reprisal, threat of reprisal, or attempt to retaliate against any U.S. government official for testifying before Congress, including you or any of your colleagues, if you would please rise and raise your right hand, I will begin by swearing you in. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Let the record show that the witness has answered in the affirmative. Thank you, and please be seated. Without objection, your written statement will be made part of the record. With that, Ambassador Marie Ivanovich, you are recognized for your opening statement.